How's it going guys? This is Double Pulse. I'm gonna make this video pretty damn short, but this is why I hate um, the current gaming culture when it comes to pre-ordering and pre-purchasing games. What you are seeing here is an image that says you can pre-purchase Fallout 4! And, you know, it pisses me off. I understand pre-orders to some extent. Now, do I agree with pre-orders? No. I don't agree with pre-orders for the most part because, you know, you're, you're basically giving your money to... You're giving your money without actually getting anything for another time. You're, you're buying a spot, right? Who knows what could happen? But let me get into Fallout 4 already be able to pre-purchase the game. What the fuck do we know about Fallout 4? Fallout 4 just got announced last night with a trailer or early this morning with a trailer and i'm not knocking fallout 4 i'm just knocking at the idea and why we're accepting pre-orders already for fallout 4 we don't even know the fucking release date and people are already putting their money down for a product that they don't even know anything about now with it being bethesda yeah, we can guarantee that Fallout 4 is probably going to be a great game. But based off of the trailer, one, the visuals, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, the visuals honestly don't look that great. Uh, they look good, but they don't look outstanding. Uh, we don't know anything about the gameplay. We don't know anything about what's the setting. Sure, we have what we have some information about the setting. We, we we know based off of what we have for the trailer. And I don't like the idea that before we even know a release date, we can already give developers or we can already give uh, publishers, developers, stores our money for something to come out in the later future. Now, I understand pre-purchasing something for maybe a week or two weeks prior to the game releasing but a year or two years before the game possibly comes out and you're gonna put down sixty dollars to pre-order the game are you fucking kidding me so this analogy might be kind of extreme but you wouldn't pre-purchase a car would you i don't even know if you can pre-purchase vehicles but imagine that if Toyota or Honda or any car manufacturers go, Hey, you want to get a free set of tires when our car released? Well, pre-order today. And then you throw down 20000 or 30000 or however much a car costs nowadays. Please tell me you wouldn't do that. So why would you do it for a $60 title? See, this is why I don't like, like the pre-purchasing culture because, you know, like, I, I keep repeating myself, and I'm sure there's more examples on why you shouldn't pre-order games, but one of the biggest worries that I've had with pre-ordering games is, even though it is unlikely that this is going to happen, you don't know what's going to happen to Fallout 4. What if Fallout 4 gets cancelled? Now, I'm not saying it will, but what if it does? What if Bethesda goes out of business. What if the company fucks up and Fallout 4 turns out to be a complete flop or it's not the game that you anticipated? Now, what's cool is you can cancel pre-purchases. I understand that and, uh, you know, so it, it makes a little bit of sense. But you don't need to give out your money this soon. You, you, you know, just hold on to your money. Wait until, like, maybe three weeks or two weeks down the line, and then decide to pre-order it. Because I understand pre-ordering because you want to get your spot in. Because who knows if the game's going to sell out. Now, here's another thing I want to talk about with pre-purchasing and pre-ordering. Is there is no reason to pre-order and pre-purchase digital games. The idea of pre-ordering is to secure your spot for the game when it comes out so you don't lose out and have the game already be sold out when you want to go buy it. But for digital distribution, you know, you pretty much got a limited copy, so pre-purchasing is pretty damn pointless. 
I don't know. I, I could go on a rant about this for shit, 10, 20, 30 minutes about pre-purchasing games. Uh, but it's going to be the same shit that other YouTubers talk about with pre-purchasing games. It's going to be the same arguments. People are going to either get butt hurt with me. People are going to agree. And there's really not a whole lot to talk about. Just the fact that it's not logical to throw $60 for a game you don't really know much about. Now, at the end of the day, it is your money, and you can do whatever the hell you want. If you want to put down $60 for a game, so be it. It's your choice. But for me, I would rather know exactly what I am getting before I put down any money for a game. Anyway, guys, this is going to be the end of the video. If you guys liked the video, be sure to leave a like, be sure to leave a comment, and be sure to subscribe for more content in the future, and I will talk to you guys soon. Goodbye.